Welcome to my Turkish lessons. Uh, today I'm going to make some exercises about uh, noun adjective past tense. And here first to remind you, şimdi means now and on this column uh, I want that you are using to be. Mostly it is going to I am and on the right side on this column I want that you are using uh, past tense uh, eskiden in the past biraz önce uh, a little before here I want that you are doing uh, I am a teacher öğretmenim I was a student öğrenciydim I am a driver, şoförüm, I was a boxer, boxerdüm. I am single, bekarım, I was married, evliydim. I am alone, yalnızım, I had many friends, çok arkadaşım vardı. So here the subject is uh, arkadaşım. It is like the translation there was my friends. But in English we say I had many friends. So the subject is the third person singular. Uh, I I have long hair, but in Turkish we are using like I am with long hair. Uzun saçlıyım. I had short hair but in Turkish we say uh, I was with short hair kısa saçlıydım here we don't need to change anything uh, my hair are short saçlarım kısa my hairs are long was long saçlarım uzundu here Genç means young and if you remember we have your ketchup changing for I am now I am young Gencim I was old Yaşlıydım I am poor Fakirim I was rich Zengindim Çaykolik means it's like alcohol alcoholic uh, who is addicted for Turkish tea and here we have a K that's why we are changing it to the silent G Çaykoliyim I am addicted to tea I was a alcoholic alcoholic Tim Jinekolog, jinekolog uh, is uh, is not original Turkish. That's why the rule is not working here. We are reading like the G is a silent G, but we write jinekoloum. But the pronunciation is like the silent G. I was a medicine student, and medicine student first of all it is a, a genitive case. Tıp öğrencisi and then the past. Tıp öğrencisiydim. And I am hard worker. Çalışkanım. I was lazy. Tembeldim. Uh, I am a chef, boss. In Turkish işveren means who is giving work. İşverenim. I was a government worker, salaryman, memurdum. I'm fine, iyiyim. I was sick, hastaydım. Uh, I am a Casanova, çapkınım. And the opposite, sadıktım. I'm patient, sabırlıyım. I wasn't patient, sabırsızdım. I am pregnant, 
hamileyim I was slim zayıftım I am fat şişmanım I was a little bit fat balık etliydim in Turkish we are using this a lot balık means fish etli with meat like we say in Turkish I was with f uh, fish meat so it's not fat it's not slim it's the between uh, kızıl saçlı I am red hair kızıl saçlıyım I was blonde sarı saçlıydım sıcak we, we don't say in Turkish we don't use sıcak for I am uh, we cannot use it it has no meaning so sıcak for objects uh, something is hot and it was cold soak too again also soak we cannot use for a person actually we are using it in the meaning cold bloody I, I am a princess princessim I was a clone palyachoidum here Bucharest is a city name that's why we need to use logative Bucharestte and then I am in Bucharest Bucharesteim I was in Turkey again we need a logative Turkey deydim I was in Turkey I'm at home evdeyim I was at work işteydim and here Uniri is a place name metro means subway here we have a genitive case for the genitive first we have to make Uniri metro su I am in the uh, subway of Uniri and we need because it's genitive if we use logative special n plus logative and I am Uniri metro sundayim the next uh, sport saloon also sport salonu is the genitive case we have the special n and then the logative and then I was sport salonun daydım it can be also I was at the gym <coughs> here we have also genitive case Mehmet first noun Mehmetin kursu here now we have the course of Mehmet Mehmet's course and the special end because we are going to use logative I am in Mehmet's course Mehmet'in kursundayım uh, I was in the swimming pool so swimming pool is a genitive case here now we have genitive special end because we are going to use logative and then uh, if it's a logative always vowel ending why and I was Yüzme havuzundaydım. Now we have exercises with sentences. Where have you been one hour before? Where in where in Turkish? That's why we need logative and vowel ending y and the, the past tense suffix and the person. Bir saat önce nere deydin? Uh, I was yesterday until the evening in the hospital so the hospital we need logative in the hospital and it's a vowel ending I was ben dün akşama kadar hastanedeydim uh, in the past I had long hair it's like in Turkish I was with long hair Ben eskiden uzun saçlıydım. When I was young, I was very slim. Ben gençken çok zayıftım. When you were little, you were a, a little fat child. Sen küçükken tombul bir çocuktun. Kardeşim, my brother or my sister, when he was a little he was very naughty 
bad behaving child meaning kardeşim küçükken çok yaramazdı. Our Turkish teacher was yesterday at the lesson very comic. The subject is our Turkish teacher third person singular Türkçe öğretmenimiz dün derste çok komikti. Yesterday we were at the restaurant. Dün bir restorandaydık. Uh, the, the people on the next table, they were Turkish. Yan masadakiler Türktü. Sometimes, ear visitor I became, it is in Turkish, sometimes I heard them. Bazen kulak misafiri oldum. Sometimes I understood the speech. Bazen konuşmaları anladım. Yesterday we had no course. The subject is course. That's why only dün kursumuz yoktu. Because Mehmet went to Turkey. Çünkü Mehmet Türkiye'ye gitti. My mother was in the kitchen, so logativ. Annem mutfaktaydı. She didn't hear the bell. Bell is zil and uh, because duymak is a transitive verb, we need to use akuzatif. Zili duymadı. And here I have some more explanation. So, dün çok hastaydım. Hasta, noun adjective case. Uh, I was sick. I was very sick. But here, hastalanmak means to became sick in Turkish. And here, it's a verb, hastalanmak. Dün hastalandım. Yesterday, I became sick. Or, for this case, we can also say it's the same meaning. Dün hasta oldum. Tatilde, in the holiday, mutluydum. I was happy. Seni gördüm. I saw you. Mutlu oldum. I became happy. So, mostly when we are using olmak, to be, with past, it is in Turkish, I became. Sınıf çok temizdi. Temiz, clean. The classroom was clean. Sınıf çok temiz oldu. The classroom became clean. Sınıfı temizledim. I cleaned the classroom. And temizlemek is here a verb. Bu çanta çok ucuzdu. Ucuz, cheap. This bag was cheap. Bu çanta ucuzladı. This bag became cheap. So we are not using that much ucuz oldu. That's why it is hard to explain. Let's say if we have a verb for the adjective, we are using the verb. It is dangerous to use the adjective with olmak oldu it became. Sometimes we are not using it and it doesn't sound so good. So ben öğretmendim. I was a teacher. Ben öğretmen oldum. I became a teacher. Rüya, dream, rüyam, my dream, rüyamda in my dream. Zengin, rich, in my dream I was rich. Rüyamda zengindim. Here, I became rich from lottery. Lotodan zengin oldum. The classroom was cold. Sınıf çok soğuktu. And here we have a verb, soğumak, to became cold. Sınıf soğudu. The classroom became cold. Or, sınıf soğuk oldu. We are using it. Hava çok sıcaktı. Sıcak, hot. The weather was hot. Very hot. Hava çok sıcak oldu. The weather became hot. Or, hava ısındı. Became warm. Maria dün çok güzeldi. Maria was yesterday very beautiful. And here we have a verb. Güzelleşmek. To became beautiful. Maria çok güzelleşti. She became beautiful. 
Pahalıydı, it was expensive. Pahalı oldu, it became expensive. Or we have a verb for it. Pahalılaşmak is the verb to became expensive. And pahalılaştı, it became expensive. That was the exercise for uh, past tense. See you on past tense questions video. Hoşçakalın.